What is this? Is this the domain? It can't be. Are you saying malevolence could corrupt a domain this far? We should escape! The strongest entity in the domain decides its form. It has nothing to do with right or wrong, or malevolence. <sighs> but... It's just like with Gramps. The lord of this land must have detected our intrusion. Destruction. A dragon! <laughs> well, this is bad. Running won't do us a bit of good. This is all my fault. I was going off my own memories and just assumed that any talk of dragons was baseless. So, you mean this dragon is a recent addition to the mountain? No, it can't be. Are you Edna? I can't believe it! You, a dragon! Nope, guess again. Huh? There are two Ednas? Your conclusion is peculiar. Brother, you must stop. Brother? So even my voice no longer reaches you. He's coming. Run like the wind. Is she the Seraph we were looking for, Lila? She is! Does this look like the time to chat? Move! Please the fight! Oh, looks like we're not running. Alright. Guess we're fighting now. I'm sure- I'm sure we'll do fine. How much hit points does it have? It's level 80 with 56,000 hit points. Good news! Alright. Am I supposed to be trying to run from this fight? This seems like an all-around bad plan. Why are we fighting it? He looks angry. Does he have an elemental weakness? No. Uh, not at all, really. Alright, well he's not- he doesn't have a resistance to the current element. How do I- I'm sorry, I don't think I know how to run. Um... There we go. There we go, I forgot what button was escape. Right, actually, I've never done it before. Sorry, McLeo. Is there a school you go to to get that dumb? Huh? You crave the fame of being a dragon slayer? Is that it? Edna! I thought you really had become a dragon! Thank goodness! Well, you haven't changed. People would respect you more if you actually worked on your personality. Actually, we came here looking for you. And so you marched into a dragon's territory? You guys really did go to Dum Dum Academy. Why, you... I'm sorry. <sighs> so? Huh? Was there something you wanted? Oh, yeah. I'm Saray. We need you to lend us your power. We were hoping you could make the foundation for a bridge, so it can be repaired. No. <gasps> I despise Earth Dwellers. Self-centered, emotional. But when they need something, it's, Oh, dear Seraphim, heed my prayer! Heed this, morons. And besides, I can't leave my brother as he is right now. That dragon, he's your brother? Yes, that's correct. That is Aizen. He's the only family I have. But, Edna, was it? It's too dangerous for you to stay here. That's right. What do you even plan on doing? Well, I... Um... I thought there had to be some way to cure his condition, but I haven't found anything. Well, there we go. I bet I can quell him. Seriously? Once a Seraph has become a dragon, even the flames of purification cannot salvage them. Are you saying... There's no way to save her brother? The only option I know of is to kill him. If we even can, that is. 
Besides, death is a kind of salvation. For some. I don't want to admit it, but... Either way, it's dangerous to be here. I won't ask you to help us after all, but you should get far away from here. I agree. This is none of your business. Look, Edna. Leave me alone. I guess our cooperation won't come so easily. We'll find some other way. The more important thing is, we can't leave her here like this. True enough. Well, then I guess we'd better go after her. This is a whole mountain of rude people. So what that's what that is. I just read over there. I love her character design though. Particularly the part where she launches herself with with uh with her earth powers, but then she has like her magical floaty uh umbrella. Is she gonna encounter Zavid? Is this all gonna come together? Edna! What's this? Did you bury them? Yeah. It was the least I could have done. Huh. Edna. Enough. I don't care how dangerous it is. I'm not going anywhere. Fine. Then let's go together and find some way to save Aizen. Didn't I tell you already? There is no way. I'm not so sure about that. Hmm? The Seraphim, the Shepherds, the Dragons, they really did exist. There are still so many legends which have yet to be uncovered in this world. There must be a way to purify the dragons somewhere, just waiting for the right person to find it. There he goes again. Not now. You're asking me to believe that? Yes. Can you give us a chance? All right, Saray. You win. I'll go with you. Wonderful! But let's be clear. Huh? If you really wanted to take me with you, you should have just dragged me kicking and screaming. Let's go hunt legends, my lady. My noble heart would not deceive thee. That went out of fashion a few hundred years ago. I... I didn't think I was... Suri's never been in fashion. Okay, Lila. Make me your sublord. Wait a minute. I didn't mean for you to... You're the one that invited me, aren't you? Yes, but still. And in any case, if I'm supposed to leave here, I need to be transferred into a new vessel. If not, I'll be corrupted by malevolence. Or didn't you think about that? Well... Academy Valedictorian, this one. Come on, Lila. Are you really okay with this? You were just telling us how much you hate humans. I do hate humans, but I guess this one's pretty okay. Thank you, Edna. Promise me something. Promise me that we'll find some way to save Aizen. Together. O oh, ye born of firmest resolve. Here let our pact be forged, that my unquavering incandescence may be as thy purification. Shouldst thou accept this burden, recite aloud your name. Hafsen Yuland. this. Edna, you were already carrying a divine artifact to serve as your vessel? Looks like we've been had, Saray. <laughs> I never did understand girls. Now then, take me with you. 
to the outside world. You got it. Here we go, Edna. Switching Seraphim. You can switch Seraphim and uh, fight uh, an armatized when using the buttons. Kind of already... Kind of... Oh. Wait, when, when controlling Seraphim, the D-pad changes who, which character you control. After switching characters, you may need to wait a short time before you can switch again. Pressing LB while armatized will return to your normal state. You cannot select a Seraph who's, who's, who's KO'd. Huh. I think we already knew all that, though. Basic goal with switching Seraphim is to select one that is strongest against the target's weaknesses. Take the opportunity to switch out Seraphim when their HP is low or they are surrounded by enemies. The key to bringing down powerful enemies lies in utilizing the full range of attack options available to you. If you swap out a Seraph when they are in the middle of unleashing an art, the swap occurs during the combo window for that art. You can use this to explore new combo possibilities. If you'd prefer to prioritize quick swaps, you can lower the attack rate in the strat uh, strategy menu, then use the command Prioritize Defense, which gives you easier opportunities to switch. Seraphim on standby, not battling, will gradually recover hit points. They can also recover from being KO'd, though it takes some time. In other words, swapping Seraph in, Seraphim in and out isn't just a rescue tactic, but an, an invaluable aspect of strategy for longer battles. Some bonus skills will add an elemental attack to the first hit of a combo. This might make it easier to use Seraphim, who aren't the best fit for certain battles. That was a mixture of stuff we definitely knew about and stuff we didn't quite know about already. I want to backtrack a little bit, because I'm sure... I don't know what the exclamation point bubble on the map is, that one's weird. It's like pointing off in that direction, but I'm sure that she can use something here, right? No? I don't have other directions to press on the D-pad yet either. Oh yeah, it's, it's weird we only have a firepower. We have three different elements of Seraphim, but no ability to use any of the other colors. She's level 13 also, 720 hit points. Might as well make her the leader right now. Since uh, Mikleo could use some recovery anyway. Rules for battle. Free and free. Always free one with left stick. Move in a line with with uh, L left trigger and left stick. Why not? Uh, is there pages to that one at all? Nope. Aerial recovery. When knocked back through the air, press X to land safely. That could be handy if I remember to do it at the right time. Don't have a lot of reason to pick right now, because everything I can basically just pick everything I have access to without much uh, st stopping. See, let's remind myself what this one does. Chain Blast. When, when a foe is stunned, Banish Blast can be unleashed at a very high speed. Oh, right. Alright. Let's look into the titles and arts for Edna. Umbrella Wielder is what, what, one of the options here. Uh, Wielder of Umbrella is a childhood weapon taken to the extreme, perhaps. It's a maxed out proficiency of five, so we surely comes with everything. Lots of bonuses there. Um, can I scroll differently with oh, it's right stick? I wish I could highlight the skills better. It's a little awkward when it starts uh, uh, scrolling like that. Armatize, strong to water, weak to wind. Stun rate 10% or 20% for 3 seconds after the battle starts, or against enemies with max hit points. Okay. Let's see, this one is... Fantastic Umbrella... That is utterly impervious to water. Wielder of Earth, Niconic Fortitude, and skilled with supportive offensive arts. Grown up child. She may look like a child, but she has experienced more life than you know. Don't underestimate her or you'll regret it. Alright. So the specific benefits is that's more armor, that's more magic, and that's more ranged. Well, she's maxed out with this one already, which seems to be the melee-based one. And frankly, I've, I've made a lot of the characters spell-based at this point, so it doesn't hurt to make her melee-based if that's an option. I don't see upgrades to give her, really. Earth Ring... Eh, Earth Ring seems to be a powerful ring at the moment. Command Shoes. Ah, Amber Boots are mostly an upgrade, it looks like. She'll lose, oh, she'll lose 20 offense, but gain 10 armor and 4 ca- Actually, no. I think the, the sheer amount of damage she gets from Command Boots might be worthwhile to hold on to. Mikleo. Who can use the spear, exactly? Is that a Sorei option? No. I was fighting spears earlier. I'm curious about that. 
All right, I don't, if she has powers for me, I don't seem to be immediately able to use them, so I guess I'll just head back down the mountain for now. Yeah, we don't have anything else to do here at the moment besides revel in how sad we are about what happened there. Oh, I get it. I saw other floors there. That's what's going on here. So for now, we just come in, meet her, and get out. But later on... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be on a mission to deal with uh, saving her brother at hey some point. Hey you, Water Boy. You got a name? Miklio, not Water Boy. Miklio, not Water Boy. That's a new one. Call me what you like. See if I care. Okay, Mebo. It's Miklio, all right? Miklio. <laughs> if you say so. Well, I see who runs this household. Yep. Whoa, what? Since when was this a household? Yeah. Can you guys not practice your comedy routines inside my head? Take that, writers. <laughs> That's kind of funny, though. Just get run randomly interrupted like that. But yeah, I'm quite sure that we're going to be coming back at a later date in this game. And we're going to be here to save the brother, as they've talked about. And that when I, I'll be able to get past those obstacles. Because if you look at the map, there's a whole lot of map in this area. But they're telling me to leave immediately. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't go deal with the bridge first, and maybe even the Plague Town first. You... They called you their boss, didn't they? I really am the Shepherd. I know you won't believe me, but it's true. Real or fake, it doesn't matter a bit. Step. I can feel someone's blessed domain. Wha what? Stop. Shepherd! Oh, wait, Check out those umbrella powers, wow. She has a level of resonance on par with the shepherds? Wow. That was abrupt. Level 14, 2600 hit points. But she can't even see us. Let's save the chat for later. I took a hit hard, damn. Uh, do we need to escape? This girl is strong. I can tell! I can tell, because you got wiped out. Um... This one's a new one for me. Saray, let's flee! You're right, it is pretty tough, because I got wiped out already. Do I need to flee? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Just hang in there, girl. She's not really attacking. This time doesn't count. Huh? She's not gonna come after us? What? It appears that their relationship hasn't been properly formalized. That's why it's causing her to have a negative reaction. Oh my! That's Dezel! Do you know of him? He lives the life of a vagabond. I heard he had taken a liking to a particularly fearsome band of traveling mercenaries. Why is he with the assassins? I suppose something happened to the mercenaries. There must be a story behind it. You don't just join up with a bunch of assassins for no reason. I'm surprised he hasn't become a Hellion by now, hooking up with an assassin's guild. There was no malevolence at all coming from that assassin. No way. No malevolence will fester among those who are pure and clean of heart. That assassin was exactly like you, Saray. A pure and clean of heart assassin? Really? They make those? Apparently. What's wrong? So, it doesn't matter if I'm real or fake, huh? Then I guess this is what you meant by me taking on the burden of the Shepherd. Yep. Don't fool yourself. Humans don't think for a moment about how you feel. But what do you expect? They're humans. She's right, I'm afraid. You'll have to learn to deal with it. Well, good thing you're pretty tough to begin with. <laughs> I wish. Clear of heart assassins? What does that even mean? What does that mean? How can you be pure of heart and be an assassin? 
Unless you're a bad assassin, I guess. <laughs> Does she not assassinate people? Interesting that we've basically established that there's another shepherd of sorts. Still don't think you can help us out? The shepherd can command the seraphim at will, isn't that right? Do whatever you want. Yeah, no, you're not a tool for me to use. If you really don't want to help, I'll find some other way. I see. You like to guilt trip a girl into making the first move. What? Saray, maintain your purity. I knew she was messed up, but... Man, if you guys aren't the dullest crew of fuddy-duddies ever assembled, I was going to help you from the get-go anyway. <sighs> You're welcome. <sighs> Thanks a million. Oh, she's great. It might get tiring at some point, but right now we're off to a good start with her. Lord Saray, it is a pleasure to see you again. Likewise, how are things looking? Well, there's still no telling when the bridge will be repaired. Alright, then I'll make it so that the bridge can be fixed. What exactly does that entail? Uh, forgive me, but I'm a bit confused, Lord Saray. In any case, I shall summon Lady Alicia. Please, wait here a moment. Wait a minute. You're going to do this right away? Yeah. I want to cheer them up as soon as possible. But... Don't you know what humans will think about you if you demonstrate power that transcends their simple understanding? I do indeed. Huh. Well, okay. Suit yourself. Maybe you like being treated like a monster. Hmm. It's your call. I won't stop you. But think carefully about who stands to lose the most from what they're warning you about. Isn't she gonna knock you out? You just got her. You usually end up sleeping for a few day, days. Uh, I think I'm gonna take on the burden of this situation just because that, that guy said that he needed to get medicine across the bridge right away. So the faster we do this, the more people could potentially be saved by that. If it transpires that the people begin to abhor and shun you, you yourself may end up breeding malevolence. Sure about this? Well, yeah, but also if the medicine doesn't get across, then that also breeds malevolence. Basically everything I do is going to breed malevolence. Because, like in every RPG ever, you make decisions where bad things happen. Don't worry so much. I'll be okay. Fine. Understood. I won't stop you. I need to start getting used to this. Both using my power, and feeling the people's scorn. I can help you with that second one. Yay! <laughs> All right, it's time to do this. What on earth? What on earth just happened? The 
hell was that? No human could have done this. Um, think this'll do it? Can you folks repair the bridge now? Of, of, of course we can. Isn't that right, everyone? Mr. Nath, can I leave you in charge of rebuilding this bridge? Of course. These are all very skilled workers. I expect they will have it done in no time. Everyone, let's all get to work. Right, okay. okay. Shepard! Gentle Shepard, how can I ever thank you? Ah, uh, there's no need for that. But I must. Thank you so much for everything you have done for us. So there are those that understand. Yes. Nath, might we take some medicine from you? We are actually heading over to Marlin from here. Would it be faster for us to deliver it? Can I ask such a thing of you? Yeah. Thank you. I am in your debt once more. Saray, am I able to cross the river with you? Of course. If it's just you, you've already made the Squire's Pact. Good luck. How do we do that? That's impressive. It was sad watching everyone sort of reject me though, that was a bummer. Why can't they just be psyched that there's a cool, powerful beacon of hope that's gonna save the day? Because that's what's happening. We better deliver the medicine as quick as we can. That's Marlin just straight up ahead. Let's, let's make haste. Alright, bridge complete. Also, because we did a whole long quest, but it just brought us right back to the bridge again, that means that this world actually is pretty navigatable and compact in a way that it might not have been if they had to go through a whole dungeon and then came out the other side. Oh, incredible. I suppose even a raging river is no trouble for a shepherd. But you should still avoid using your powers in front of other people. Yeah, you're probably right. She is. If Earth Dwellers are there to freak out every time like this one does, I may slip my wrists. Seraphedna, I deeply regret my transgression. Yeah, you ought to. And we're already on a first-name basis even though we just met? You're awfully rude, you know that? Please forgive me. If you're sorry, then do the Norman Karena as penance. The Nor- What now? You don't know it? How disrespectful. Please forgive me. If you're sorry, then do the Norman Karena as penance. Edna, don't infinite loop the squire. <laughs> Lila, you understand that Edna is toying with Alicia, don't you? Do something. Sorry, I just thought, maybe if they had a chance to talk together, they might, you know, become friends. Alicia, this is just how Edna is. You can't take anything she says seriously. Spoken like a true Mebo. What's a Mebo? You don't know? Then do that. Okay, enough. <laughs> I love her. She's perfect. <laughs>